Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at the Caravan Camping and Motorhome Show 2024 at the NEC in Birmingham and I'm here to look at this. It's the brand new Coachman Sportivo Motorhome. Now this is quite exciting. This is what I'm going to call the Baby Travel Master. As many of you may be aware, Coachman launched the Travel Master a few years ago, but that is quite a big motorhome. So what they've done is they've entered the market with this three and a half ton Mercedes-based motorhome that hopefully might be of interest to you so let's get cracked on and have a look so here we go so as i say this is the sportivo it is based on the mercedes cab and i believe it does have an alco chassis we can see that big mercedes badge and we do have some decals just down here on the front it comes with 170 brake horsepower as i say it is three and a half tons but you can actually up plate this to about four and a half tons now size wise this is going to be more popular i think because it is seven meters and 44 centimeters in length so it's certainly quite a bit smaller than the travel master now the sportivo it's a two berth motorhome but it does have four travel seats right let's come down this near side so obviously we've got our passenger door there it does have the electrically operated wing mirrors the habitation door is on the near side We've got the two-lay wind-out canopy that we can see up there. Green decals with the Sportivo name. I'll just go into there so we can see that. Down on this near side, just here at this point, this is the toilet cassette just here. One thing I do notice is the step is quite low. I'll just come back so we can see that. So it is quite low hung is the step for getting in. We are getting a gas point and a television point and that's situated here as well on the near side it does come with alloy wheels we've got a locker here on the near side and then we've got this garage so let's go and have a look in the garage because these are quite important to the garages they've always been just open that so a garage has always been pretty standard on a european motorhome but the British motorhomes have only just sort of started moving into having these large garages because they're really useful for putting your e-bikes and bits and pieces that you need to store in. So on this Sportivo we've got a good sized gar garage, hopefully you can just see that there with the lighting here at the show. Obviously when we go inside we'll see more of the actual layout so let's close that up. So that's the near side. As we come round the rear end of the Sportivo, and I do like the back end on the Coachman, so it takes a lot of the styling there from the Travel Master. We have got up there a reversing camera. I don't know exactly what is on the roof because there's very little information available. This is literally brand new. I haven't even got the information on the stand, so it's a first look, but hopefully information will be on the uh, Coachman website. So I'll put a link to that as well. So if we come down, onto the off side now so we've got a second garage door and then we've got our electric hookup point you can see the vent there for the alder which is just there so this does have the alder wet central heating and i believe it does have underfloor heating we've got dometic vents so it looks like we're getting the tower fridge freezer we've got a locker here that may well be for gas and then we've got our external water point. I don't know the size of the onboard water tanks at this time, but it will have an onboard water tank for fresh and gray waste. So that is the exterior of the Sportivo or Baby Travel Master. Right, let's go in and have a look. So this is the 565 model. There's only going to be one layout at the moment on the UK market, but there may be more coming. Price, this is currently, as shown here, £114,000. So just so you know the price point as we go in. So we've got a couple of steps. So we'll venture in and we'll start in the cab first of all. Now, I've been in here and had a quick look round and there's some things I really like and there's one compromise that I found. It might not be a compromise for you, but we'll get to that as we go. So stand by for that one. So let's start in the cab area. So we've got the Mercedes Benz and we've got this nice black leather finish on the seats. You can see the Coachman logo embossed on the seats and you've got that large infotainment screen as well. And this one has got the uh, automatic. So what I do like is because this is a two berth, we don't have the drop down bed. We've got this large sunroof here, these two swivel seats, captain's chairs, 
There's a seating here on the near side with a little bit of storage just underneath. Then we've got this floor space and the floor does have underfloor heating. We've got a table here which when not in use you fold this away and we have this bench seat here that you can see. When you want to use that table obviously we pull that out. Then we've got the window here on the off side, some small LED lights and then we have got the cupboards. I wonder if these are just pressed. We'll just have a look in one of these. So we've got cupboard space on the off side as well. Just close that up. So lounge space, we've got a really nice lounge area that you can see and then this leads back into the Sportivo. So we're finding our kitchen there on the off side and here on the near side we've got the handle for the entry point and we've got the Dometic control panel up there. Right, I'll just enter into the kitchen. So here we've got several pull-out drawers. We've got the sink, three gas burners, and then we've got various cupboards. These have got a gloss finish, as we can see. Just open these up. So we've got some cupboard space. We do have a small Dometic oven here. That is very small, but I don't cook in the motorhome, so that wouldn't be a, an issue. And then we've got a cutlery drawer there as well. So this is our kitchen space. Floor space, you can see here, floor space is fairly narrow, but we have got quite a lot in here. Then we're coming to the Dometic Tower Fridge Freezer. Very good size. I don't know the full literage, but we've got our Dometic Tower Fridge and Freezer here on the off side. And then this leads into the bedroom. So on this model, the only layout available is the twin longitudinal beds. You can see there's a couple of steps up there and that then takes us onto two really good size uh, in width and length single beds that we can see. There's some shelving, there's some little LED lights down there. I can see some speakers. Then we've got this really nice lighting band and we've got little storage spaces above there. We've got the other bed on the near side and we have got here somewhere to put our television and a plug socket that we can see there. There's also just down there a charging point and more plug sockets. You can make this into a massive sort of queen bed with a cushion that fits on there. This pulls out from under there and that's going to make a huge queen bed if you wanted it. We've got a couple of steps and then there is storage as well under the bed there and the aerial coming in as well and storage on this side as well under this bed. Now that's your bedroom space. I did say there was just one compromise and that's going to be here in the washroom and I'll show you that next. So this door here will open this up and have a look in the washroom. So in here this is a combined shower and toilet. We've got the Thetford toilet and the sink with the mirrored cabinet and there is storage in that cabinet. That's really nicely illuminated. So when I say the compromise is this, it is that it is an all-in-one shower and washroom. But that's a good size and not bad at all. So that, I'll just dive out and wind up the video. So that was our first look. Thank you. Right. That was our first look at the Coachman Sportivo 565, £114,000. I will put a link to the Coachman website so you can have a look and find more about the official facts and figures once they're released. But this looks a really good three and a half ton motorhome. I don't know the payload at this time, but uh, yeah, not a bad one at all. So a baby travel master. Hopefully you've enjoyed a first look at it. I know I have. So there we go. So as always, thanks for watching and... I'll see you in the next one.